what is what is the date it is monday july 10th 1 50 p.m and i'm so bored i'm about to get my period and i'm craving an in and out burger but the problem i'm in the midwest which means that we don't have an in and out here so <laughs> So I've decided to go to every fast food chain and get a burger and hope to find one that satisfies me. There's a lot of fast food chains in the Midwest that we don't have on the West Coast. I did my hair all cute because I was like, bleh, this morning. I didn't feel good. And so I was like, maybe if I put my hair up and wear an outfit that makes me feel cute that I will feel better. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. <sighs> my pants end. My underwear continues. I guess I could just like fold it down. Hey, that worked. Also, these pants don't have pockets in the back. I just showed you my butt, don't you dare. They don't have pockets in the back, but they have pockets in the front. But they're not very useful because they're like small. Every time I get dressed to go out in the Midwest, I get nervous because I'm like, I dress way too, like, I don't even know what the right word is. I can't say LA, but I dress way too much for here. Yesterday was Sunday and we went to Costco because like groceries. Everybody was coming from church. I don't go to church. I'm dressed like this. My entire midriff is out. Like I have some boobage. I don't know. I was just not dressed the way that everybody else was dressed. And I had a girl wearing like a pink, like a neon pink ruffly top with like tight blue jeans and then like a pair of beige heels. Look at me in the like Costco sample line like this over and over again. And I was like, <laughs> hey, I feel like I dressed not correctly for where I, I got am. my keys. I'm gonna pee and then we can go. I'll do the Culver's Deluxe, please. I got a number. I've never had this happen with fast food. There's also nobody behind me. Like if this does happen with fast food in LA, it's usually because they're like really packed and they need to get your food out and they're like, oh, you have a big order, like pull to the front. There is nobody behind me, so. I took a little pit stop because I saw Brahms and I saw they have burgers, so that's what we're getting. Thank you. You too, thank you so much. Okay, I'm at Whataburger. You know how I said that I missed In-N-Out? I didn't miss it this much because this Whataburger line is, this is an In-N-Out line. This, this isn't, this is an In-N-Out line. I have been in line for at least 25 minutes and I've moved up two spots. This burger better be fucking good. Welcome to the Whataburger. Can I get a name for the order? Yeah, Mahawk. <laughs> Can I just do the Whataburger with everything on it? And then I'll do a sweet tea. A small sweet tea. That's gonna be 10.99. Go ahead and pull for it. Thank you. Why is it 10.99? Apparently everyone from Texas says it's better than In-N-Out, but that's because they don't have In-N-Out. Just saying. <laughs> Sorry to all my Texans, but there's no way. I got in this line at 2.20. It's 3.10. <laughs> and all I've gotten is my sweet tea. It's good though. I've officially been in this line for an hour. There's nothing fast about this fast food. All I want is a burger. I'm so grumpy. I'm hangry. I'm hangry right now. I think my burger is out. Oh my God, please. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. That took freaking forever. Let's go. You have no idea how hard it was for me to get into this apartment with those bags and the cup and my camera and my purse and like it just let's eat some burgers if these burgers aren't good i'm gonna be mad <laughs> hello hi so this is culver's it was four dollars and 64 cents i think this was the cheapest burger that i got i feel like it looks like a very standard burger it's a little lopsided but that might just be my fault because i was driving she's not that cold she tastes like a fast food burger she's not in and out but she's good. Brahms. I love that it's in like a little tin foil. That's really cute actually. This is their quarter pounder because I wanted it to all kind of be like equal and they had like, like huge burgers and I was like, no, that's too much. She's not as pretty. That's okay. I don't like this one. I don't like it. It feels like they put like six slices of cheese on here. That is one hunky slice of cheese. I don't like her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put her aside. Lastly, Whataburger. No wonder it was $10. They charged me for a Diet Coke and a sweet tea. This one was $10. And I was like, how is it $10? I only got two things. She repeated me my order and it was exactly what I ordered. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just a little more expensive. They charged me for a Diet Coke and a sweet tea. I got a small sweet tea. They charged me for a medium Diet Coke and a sweet tea. Girl, dock the point. Anyways, this took me an hour to get. in and out doesn't even take that long. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. So Whataburger is originally like a Texas food chain and everyone from Texas claims 
that this is as good as in and out or even better. So far, she's a honky burger. She looks good, I won't lie. She is upside down, so I, knew, I do need to flip her. It's what she looks like. She is honky. None of these have that like freshness that in and out has. Like all of these buns kind of look like they've been sat on. in and out just doesn't do me like that. You better be good. Seriously, this looks, okay. This looks dry as hell, let me be honest. There's like only mustard on here. The patty looks very flat and dull. The lettuce is not giving much. And there's like two tiny pieces of tomato on this. No pickles. <sighs> Maybe I'm being too mean. I was gonna say, I'm gonna try to find a good bite. There is no good bite. It's dry. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but Culver's was the best. I know exactly what this tastes like. This just tastes like a burger from Tommy's. This is a, this is a Tommy's burger. This is not better than in and out sorry. I'm grumpy. Oh, there are pickles. Look at the size difference. This one is Whataburger. This one is Culver's. My final ranking is gonna go Culver's. I give it an eight out of 10. It was good. I had it cold and it was still better than the other two. Whataburger number two. I would have given it number one if it tasted better. <laughs> I had too high of expectations because everybody said it was so good. That is a Tommy's burger. If you've ever had Tommy's original hamburgers, like that is what that is. Also, they charged me for a Diet Coke and it took an hour. Honestly, I'm gonna put Whataburger last. No, Brahms was really bad. Fine, Whataburger gets second, Brahms is third. I give Whataburger a six out of 10 and then I'm gonna give Brahms a five. Five guys is better than all of these. <laughs> well, now I just wait for my partner to get home and give them Burgers. Maybe I missed some. Maybe Sonic would be good. You know, I feel like I need I need suggestions. You know what else I'm missing from LA? Dave's hot chicken. Ugh. Dave's hot chicken is so good. I want to try all the chicken sandwiches at fast food places because that would be good. Comment if I should do chicken or burgers, and then comment your favorite places for both. Thank you for watching and keeping me company and full. Um, <laughs> I will see you next Friday. Eat a good burger. Eat a good burger, and then I will see you on Friday. Bye bye.